Good morning, my friends. What up? Time for a cup of coffee. Tuesday morning. A little overcast, but hey, it's going to be a beautiful day. It always is. You know, oh, are you having your coffee too? I hope. I belong to a book club sort of thing. We're studying the Master Key to Riches, a Napoleon Hill book. Um, we're just studying chapter six. Richard, good morning. Love, the true emancipator of mankind. Love is man's greatest experience. It brings one into communication with infinite intelligence. Do you feel love? Do you feel love? Let's start with the guy in the mirror. When you look in the mirror in the morning, do you feel love for the person looking back at you? Because many people don't. Yet this is such a critical thing to learn to love ourselves and to accept ourselves as individuals. Because if we don't love ourselves, it's hard for us to love other people. It's really hard if we look in the mirror and we don't like the person we're seeing to then go out and give love to other people. Do you know that today is national, um, it's Giving Tuesday. The origin of Giving Tuesday is we've had Black Friday and Cyber Monday, and Giving Tuesday has evolved. I'm not sure where it started, but it's evolved out of the idea of giving back, not just taking, not just spending, but giving, giving love, giving hope. We have so many crises in the world that could use a few pennies or a little of our time to help them out. Orangutans losing their homes in the rainforest, children starving to death in Yemen. I mean, I can go on and on and on. Do you know that a child dies from starvation about once every eight seconds? Eight seconds. From the time we've been sitting here talking, which is about two and a half minutes, but roughly maybe 10 children have died from malnutrition, from starvation. We can change that. I belong to a company that gives away a gift, a free gift. And when you activate the free gift, we feed a child in the world. How cool is that? And the free gift is a website that lets you save money when you do things that you already do. If you'd like to learn more, ask me. That's all I'm going to say about it. But behind the free gift is the idea that we also can feed, can help the world. We've fed uh, about 3 million children so far this year, I think the number is. So, what can you do today? What can I do? What can we do, each and every one of us? Can we give a few pennies to uh, our favorite charity? An extra $5 to Save the Children Foundation or the Red Cross. Pick one. I don't know. I'm not suggesting which one to pick. I'm just saying, let's give a little bit. Let's help somebody today. Let's show love for each other. Good morning, Betty. Good morning, Tim. Good morning, Richard. Let's show love for each other and give a little bit, just a little of ourselves. After all, it is the season of giving, isn't it? So, Betty, are you on on? <laughs> We're talking about, I started off talking about love, which is chapter six of the Master Key to Riches, which we've been studying in our little book club, Diamond Mind. The name of our book club is the Diamond Mind. How to build a diamond mind by personal development, by reading really good books. 
Hello, Betty. There you are. And this is also Giving Tuesday. And Giving Tuesday is an outgrowth of... Good morning, Betty. Giving, Giving Tuesday is an outgrowth of... Um, I'm looking at a dog running around. <laughs> Giving Tuesday is an outgrowth of... You know, we have Black Friday. I, I stay away from Black Friday. We, people getting into fights in the stores over... I mean, it's just pure silliness. And Cyber Monday. Now we have Giving Tuesday. Let's give back a little bit. Let's help somebody. Let's. Uh, there's plenty of causes out there in the world that can use a little boost. So let's let's show our love. Let's let's show our respect. Let's show our caring. Let's show our compassion for other people, nature, things that need our help that we could help. And let's give a little. That's all for today. I hope you're going to have a wonderful day. As usual, I intend to be happy. I hope you do too. It's a choice. And remember, be compassion. The world needs a whole lot more of that. Give a little bit. Help somebody. Charles, good morning. And we'll talk again tomorrow. All righty, my friends. Good morning, Charles. And we'll talk again tomorrow. So, Charles, we've been talking about love, giving, compassion. This is Giving Tuesday. Cynthia. Good morning, Cynthia. Good morning. I'm going to wait for Cynthia to turn from green, which I don't quite understand the color. So when somebody first shows up, like Cynthia, there she is. Cynthia was in green, and I don't know when she's in green if she can hear me or not. Uh, and then she turns to uh, not green. So I don't know what that means. I mean, everybody does that. We go through, it goes through these color phases. I'm going to try to figure that out. Cynthia, we've been talking about, we're talking about chapter six of the Master Key to Riches, which is love, the true emancipator of mankind. And talking about loving the person in the mirror first and then loving our neighbor and also about compassion and giving today is giving tuesday and giving tuesday is an outgrowth of cyber monday and uh, black friday and then there's giving tuesday and uh, the idea is to give a little back to the community to the world to your favorite charity and there's so many causes that can use some help and support uh, I, I can't even begin to name. There's so many of them. Pick your favorite. Give an extra dollar or two. Help somebody out. Buy somebody a cup of coffee. Do something kind for a stranger. Just give. It feels good to give. And be compassionate. And help our world. We can make our world a better place. If collectively we all... Love is man's greatest experience. It brings one into communication with infinite intelligence. If we can all love a little bit more and show a little more compassion, we can turn this planet into heaven. We can have heaven on earth. We can have peace in our lifetime. We can help our fellow man. We can elevate the spirit of the people who are downtrodden and broken and hurting and tired and sick. That's all for today. Have a wonderful day. We'll talk again tomorrow. Cynthia, Charles, Betty, Tim, thank you for being here. Who else was here? I can't seem to get to the page to scroll up anymore so that's all i can see right now all right my friends bye for now